Hey guys, welcome back to Earthbeat. We are going to replace the screen on this iPhone 11 Pro Max. The screen of this device is still responding despite having the glass and the screen panels broken. The first step that we need to do is to remove two screws at the bottom of the device. We can then use our suction cup to pull the screen out of the frame of the device. You may be asking yourself this was really easy. That's because the double-sided tape has been already removed out of the screen of this device. It was repaired before. Even if this screen had the double-sided tape for water resistance we will still do the same thing in order to remove the screen out of the shell of the device the most serious stuff while doing this is to be careful around the right of the device on the right of the device we have the flex cable of the front speaker assembly all the flex cables are concentrated on the right of this device true that we do not need the flex cable of the screen but we still need the flex cable of the front speaker assembly after removing the retaining plate on the motherboard we still need to remove two screws that are holding the flex cable of the battery the flex cable of the battery is is very important we need to disconnect that flex cable before we proceed on doing anything else the flex cable of the battery out we can proceed into doing our screen replacement there is another flex cable coming from the battery at the bottom of the device near the taptic engine but you do not have to remove that in order to proceed next to remove the screen we need to disconnect three flex cables this is the new screen and the new double-sided tape you can attach the double-sided tape this way onto the device and then after installing the front speaker assembly we are going to reinstall everything onto the frame of the device after the removal of three screws we can start the removal process of the front speaker assembly look at what apple has done to this front speaker assembly the flex cables that they are using are very tiny and this is very fragile if you do not have too much experience you need to take your time in removing this front speaker assembly i started pulling on the front speaker assembly but it was not moving so i decided to add some heat to make everything go smoother because in case i break the front speaker assembly i'm not going to have face id on this device and that way the device will have lost 50 percent of its resale value so after slightly hitting the front of the screen for something like five to ten seconds i started to pull again on the front speaker assembly and it was getting a little bit better but i still had the rectangular sensor on top of the screen stuck inside the bezel where it is sitting so while you're doing this part take your time if it takes you 10 minutes to do this do it in 10 minutes it's better than losing face id and having a device basically disabled the front speaker assembly is out now take a minute to inspect the front speaker assembly make sure that nothing has been damaged on it and then reinstall the front speaker assembly in the reverse order that you took it out of the screen of the device make sure that you install the double-sided tape before you reinstall the front speaker assembly you can install the double-sided tape directly on the frame of the device or directly onto the new screen of this device in your case i advise you to put everything together but do not put the screws on and start testing the device to make sure the new screen is responding and you do not have any issues with the new screen that you just installed and everything is working like it should there is a notification on the screen this is apple notification to let you know that the screen that you just installed is not a good screen even if the screen came from apple you can bypass that notification and gain true tone back by programming the new screen to match with the new hardware i show you in my videos only every everything that is necessary you can use your device this way with this notification on and the notification comes on only once the first time you turn the device after changing the screen after that you will never see that notification unless you go into setting and look for that notification but if you cannot live without true tone you will need to purchase a programmer that you're going to use once and hopefully get your true tone back thank you guys for watching subscribe like and share and i will see you on my next video click the one on the right